Liberty Hill Park, Lake Navarro Mills. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers campground. We are spending a couple nights here, hoping to catch some fish, just have a good relaxing time. I didn't do a, a segue this morning when we left Hanks Creek. We were scrambling to get on the road before the love bug thing occurred so we wouldn't have to deal with them hitting the vehicles fortunately we didn't anyway liberty hill park lake navarra mills site number 15. It's got a pavilion give you a little little shade of course this is west so we're gonna have some uh, sun exposure on the trailer 30 amp with water. So it's gonna be kind of warm in the afternoon. We can't run both AC units. Pretty level side to side. I did have to put some two by blocks under that side. But if you notice, I had to drop the hitch way down to accommodate for the length of the trailer and the slope of the site. The slope of the site. It's a nice wide pad and it's flat over here. So you don't have to worry about tripping when you come out. We've got a fire ring and this is why I picked this site from the map water access rock shelf right there that I can fish from it's fairly easy to to navigate there's actually an easier way down if you go a little next the next campsite over so coming back up maybe a bit of a challenge for me on this one might need a rope definitely have to watch for snakes but there we are Lake Navarra Mills. There's the dam right over there. I'm gonna catch some fish. wandering around Liberty Hill Park here on Lake Navarro Mills and there's there's this historical placard here on the very end of this point so I came over here to see what it was all about apparently uh, this was near the site of trading post of Dr. George Washington Hill and in 1853 Hill County was named after this fella apparently he was very um, very connected in Texas history in a number of different ways and that plaque describes those ways anyway if you ever make it out here come and read about Dr. Hill and I guess that's why the park is named Liberty Hill I don't know did not say <laughs>
just been given permission to go down here and do some video tour of the fishing dock. There's a marina here as well. Oh no. Stairs. Why did it have to be stairs? Looks like water level's kind of low. Man, that's a heck of a fishing dock. Look at the size of this thing. I don't think I've ever been on a fishing dock that was this large. But it appears that perhaps they were getting more business from people coming out to use the fishing dock than people coming out to moor the boats. And they just converted some of the boat slips into fishing platforms. She's got a crane over here. I guess that's for reeling in the really, really big fish. All right, so that's the fishing dock at Liberty Hill. If you camped out here at Liberty Hill on the Vero Mills, you're probably gonna wanna do some fishing. Check out the honor wall. These people have caught some serious fish here. They have a little store where you can buy all your fishing tackle. According to the sign, they serve breakfast too. So you don't have to go far to buy any tackle. And you can even join the two pound club. Liberty Hill, Lake Navarro Mills, Corps of Engineers property. Sun's going down, not doing any fishing today. Decided against it simply because getting down to the water is a bit of a challenge. Getting ready to eat some brat from that fantastic meat shop, Wenzel's Meats in Hamilton, Texas. Don't know what's in it. Smells good though. So we're gonna feast, have a little fire going. Liberty Hill Park, Lake Navarro Mills. Liberty Hill Park, Lake Navarro Mills. Real issue with what turns out to be Argentinian ants. Bad. A dozen trails all the way around the pad, the pad, were those ants hitting into the, the trailer. Uh, and they're in the trailer. And it's like, what what is going on here? I've never seen anything like this before. So I made a few inquiries, front gate, the bait shop, the neighbors, and they said, uh, 
good luck. <laughs> All right, I'm headed into a little town of Hubbard. I learned some, uh, I learned about these ants. Uh, uh, there's ants here in this park. Actually, it says something on the little uh, window sticker about the Argentinian ants. I didn't happen to read that when we came in yesterday. But I talked to the neighbors who are sitting up next to me about these ants, and they said, oh, yeah, they're bad, man. They'll go home with you. So I'm on my way into the little town of Hubbard to get some ant poison, hopefully uh, keep them from moving into the trailer and going home with them. You need to find an ant control product that specifically addresses the Argentinian ants. So I found this stuff. Went into Hubbard, Texas, and this was what the guy at the hardware store recommended. Gotta say, it's like amazing. It's within an hour of putting it out, there were like no ant trails going into the RV at all. It just did not knock them right on out, brother. Got some boric acid type roach proof product to put inside. So while we have it parked, hopefully we're not gonna have a continued development of the Argentinian ant infestation. Uh, Cause man, that's, that's, that's like, that's a crazy problem the way these things are. Anyway, ants, they stink. <laughs> They don't bite, but they're just like crawling all over. This is this has been the bug trip with the the love bugs and the Argentinian ants. Man, I'm I'm done with the insect. Well, here we are, last night of this journey. We're at Liberty Hill, Lake Navarro Mills. Sorting things out, packing up, getting ready to head back to civilization. Looks like my stabilizer needs to be calibrated. It's kind of wompty jawed. Anyway, Hope you guys have enjoyed our little 
three park journey we have a much more extensive journey coming up at the end of the year we're going to be visiting a number of great state parks and national parks on a tour through southwest texas it's something you definitely want to subscribe to see because some of these parks uh, people have never even heard of i'd never even heard of them so anyway click on that subscribe button down there now uh, most important if you've enjoyed what i've done give me a thumbs up if you thought it could use some improvement you can give me a thumbs down but if you do that thumbs down thing hey make sure you put a comment down there and let me know why anyway i appreciate all you guys that have followed and subscribed and commented and i just i'm flattered that you follow me truly an amazing thing <laughs>